now the next chapter that we are going to study is a chapter 7 rudder so everyone before going further please give the heading chapter 7 rudder now in this chapter the first chapter the first point that we are going to study is what normal force what is the first point that we are going to study is a normal force and normal force we denote by what f suffix n so give the first heading normal force f n f suffix n suffix huh? n must be in suffix now try to understand this the what is the meaning of normal force and all that things so normal means perpendicular basically what is the meaning of normal normal means perpendicular now what is don't worry about we will not go into that much detail now the point through which normal force is going to act remember my point the point through which the point through which the point through which normal force act the point through which normal force acts it's called what that point we will say is called center of effort what we will say we will say center of effort and we denote center of effort by what c e how we denote center of effort we denote center of effort by what c -E. so the point through which it is the point it is the point through which normal force is going to act that point is point is called center of effort so now so you got it what is mean by center of effort and normal force means what force which is perpendicular to the rudder plane now this normal force will have a two component try to understand my word here we are trying to understand very very important concept now this normal force will have a two component this normal force will have what this normal force will have a two component so first of all just imagine that first of all just imagine that this is what our normal force just imagine that this is what our normal force fn don't go into that much detail don't try to think too much here because here we are not going into too much detail whatever things we required from exam point of view we are trying to study that things so just imagine that this is what a normal force this is what a normal force that is what a fn fn is what our normal force this normal force will have what this normal force will have a two component component is like a what just imagine that suppose just take an example of father suppose father has what one son and one daughter just imagine that we are considering one ideal case so father has what guys one son and one daughter try to understand my point what father has father has one son and one daughter so can we say this son and daughter is what component of a father what is son and father will do they are what components what this son and daughter they are what components of a what father getting my point means these two components together these two components together will replace what these two components son and daughter will replace father getting my point the similar thing will be what similar thing will be what 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 will be the similar things similar thing will be what this fn will have a two component means i will explain what is the meaning of component but that we will not go into that much detail so fn will have a two components guys huh? what fn will have two components and what are the two components of a fn first component is what a drag force what is the first component first component of fn is what a drag force that is what a fd we denote drag force by what fd try to understand this one fn means what drag force this is one component of fn so fd is what one component of fn and another component of fn is what a tangential force what is another component of fn 
another component of fn is what a tangential force and we denote tangential force by what ft okay so what is the meaning of ft try to see the scenario so ft means what drag force ft means what tangential force try to see the scenario here and see what are the components components means what fn will have these two components ft and fd so what will do components will do these two components can together see the wordings this ft and this ft tangential force and this drag force together will replace fn means whatever the equivalent of whatever the equivalent eff effect of the ft and fd whatever the equivalent effect of what ft and fd ft and fd together will be have a which is equal to what fn getting my point so try to see the scenario and here we will have one angle and we will give the name of that angle is what alpha what we will give the name of that angle we will give that name of the angle is what yeah alpha so now try to see the scenario here i am going to explain you all the things but before that what you have to do just what you have to do start writing down this discussion everyone before going further start writing down this all this discussion
सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू राइट डाउन द मीनिंग ऑफ सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू राइट डाउन द मीनिंग ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी टर्म हियर सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी रिटर्न वॉट इज मीन बाई एफ एन एफ एन मीन्स वॉट नॉर्मल फोर्स एफ टी मीन्स वॉट टेंजेंशियल फोर्स एफ डी मीन्स वॉट ट्रैक फोर्स सी ट्राई टू सी द सीनार यू हियर नाउ जस्ट ऑब्सर्व वॉट इज मीन बाय सो वॉट इज मीन बाय हियर एफ टी एफ टी मीन्स वॉट वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एफ टी एफ टी मीन्स वॉट टेंजेंशियल फोर्स वॉट इज मीन बाय एफ टी एफ टी स्टैंड फॉर वॉट टेंजेंशियल फोर्स डोंट थिंक टू मच सो एफ एन विल हैव अ टू कंपोनेंट कंपोनेंट लाइक अ वॉट सपोज दिस इज अ वॉट अ सन दिस इज वॉट अ डॉटर जस्ट लाइक कंसिडर एंड एफ एन मीन्स वॉट फादर जस्ट थिंक लाइक दैट डोंट थिंक टू मच सो दिस इज वॉट अ एफ टी एफ टी स्टैंड फॉर वॉट टेंजेंशियल फोर्स एंड हियर सी दिस इज वॉट अवर अल्फा दिस इज वॉट अवर अल्फा and this is what our right angle triangle this is what our right angle triangle this is this angle is what 90 degree so this alpha with respect to this alpha ft is what adjacent fn is what hypotenuse hypotenuse of this triangle so then what we can write down cos alpha is equal to what we can write down adjacent divided by hypotenuse so ft divided by fn so what is the relation of ft we will get relation of f t we will get what f n into what cos alpha what the relation of f t we will get f n into what cos alpha so before going further everyone or one minute huh? i will write down both the things side by side now the next thing don't write anything just let me first of all complete the things and then so so that i will write down both the things side by side so that you will get a proper understanding so we got it what we got it ft in terms of fn and alpha so ft is what fn cos alpha here now the next thing try to understand sin al what is meant by fd what is meant by fd fd stand for what drag force what is meant by fd fd stand for what drag force so now what is sin al sin alpha is equal to what so this is what alpha Opposite side is what F D. Hypotenuse is what F N. So sine alpha will be equal to what? Opposite. Opposite side will be what F D. So drag force F D divided by what F N. So what is the relation of F D? We can write down. Drag force will be equal to what F N. Sine alpha. Guys, you have to rememberize these relations. This sometimes we need a tangential force. Sometimes we need a drag force. Huh? so you should know what is meant by tangential force and what is meant by drag force don't think too much about these things guys don't think too much for now just you have to memorize this is a fn fn means normal force fn will have a two component one component is a tangential force another component is a drag force component is like a what component is like a what like a son and daughter of a father okay just you have to consider like that means this fn can be replaced by these two means whatever the effect whatever the effect of the fn this two this two will together will combine if, if we combine these two together they will create a same effect as a fn just you have to memorize this one just you have to understand this one don't think too much about the components now for now and you have to memorize these relations so before going further please everyone write down this discussion now after this ft and fn we are going to understand what is the torque on the rudder what we are going to understand we are going to understand torque on the rudder so now for now just try to understand the things here what we have to do just imagine that this is what a rectangular rudder this is what a guys our rectangular rudder just try to understand this is what our rectangular rudder and through that one here we will have one point here we will have what just imagine that here we will have a one point that point denote what our center of effort 
okay just imagine that this is what our point this point denote what guys our center of effort so this point denote what a center of effort through this point a, a force is going to act normally which is not visible or in this plane the plane of the screen so there is a force which is perpendicular to this one so that is normal force try to see the scenario and normal force is going to act through the center of paper now here the next thing we will have a axis of rotation so just imagine that this is what our axis of the rotation just imagine that what is this one this will be what our axis of rotation and how we will draw the axis just have a look here bigger line smaller line bigger line smaller line bigger line smaller line bigger line smaller line so this is what our axis of rotation now the next thing from here i am going to draw one dotted dotted line what i am going to do from here from the center of effort i am going to draw what a dotted dotted line observe here so just imagine that this is what our dotted dotted line and the distance between center of effort and axis of rotation the distance between center of effort and axis of rotation is what guys this distance is what what we will say this distance between center of rotation uh, sorry center of effort and axis of rotation is what this distance is what we consider b so in this case torque on rudder in this case what will be the torque on rudder don't think too much guys torque on rudder will be what t will be equal to what guys torque on rudder will be equal to what one minute let me it is make it little bit bold so torque on rudder that is a t t will be equal to what a normal force which is act perpendicular to this this rectangular rudder this is what a rectangular rudder i am showing here so this fn will act what a perpendicular to this plane which is not visible here so perpendicular to this one perpendicular and the distance fn that torque on the rudder will be equal to what fn into b yeah b means what a distance between center of effort and axis of rotation what is the meaning of b b means what where meaning of the b is what guys i am writing down the meaning of b meaning means what b means what distance between what is the meaning of b b means what distance between center of effort that is a c and what axis of rotation and this t will be in what newton meter t will be in what guys newton meter fn means what normal force normal force will be in newton what is the meaning of fn fn means what normal force normal force will be in what newton distance between center of effort and axis of rotation will be in meter so before going further please everyone write down this discussion now after this discussion guys after this discussion what we are going to do the next point we are going to see calculation of or i will say instead of calculation one minute instead of saying that calculation of diameter of rudder stock instead of that i will say diameter of the rudder stock what we will say guys everyone diameter diameter of what rudder stock so the next point is what give the next reading diameter of the rudder stock so now here don't think too much we have to memorize this relation basically this relation that i am going to write down is derived from the torsion equation 
those who studied mechanics they know this torsion equation if you are not studied mechanics don't worry about that one in mechanics you are going to study this torsion equation in much detailed way but now i am going to write down this relation directly so d diameter of the rudder stop d will be equal to what 60 t divided by what pi tau tau huh? this is a water tau see this is mean by t this is mean by tau so try to understand the scenario 16t divided by what pi tau max raised to the power what raised to the power 1 by 3 okay guys everyone getting my point try to understand the scenario here so now we will see d means what we have already written diameter of the rudder stock and that diameter of the rudder stock will be in what in meter so diameter of the rudder stock we denote by what capital d diameter of the rudder stock we denote by what a capital d this relations we derived from what torsion equation we will not go into derivation of this torsion equation and what is mean by torsion equation we studied in mechanics so don't worry about to for now torsion equation those who studied mechanics they they know already what is mean by torsion equation so where we will write down the meaning of each and every term this is mean by t t means what torque on rudder and just now we have seen relation of torque on rudder fn into b what is the relation of torque on rudder we have seen fn into b so torque on rudder and that will be in what torque must be in what newton meter then next thing this term may be new for you guys if you are not studied mechanics if you are not studied mechanics this term tau max may be new for you and what is the meaning of tau max guys tau max means what torsional shear stress or maximum permissible shear stress what is the meaning of tau max guys tau a this is a tau tau max maximum maximum permissible maximum permissible shear stress and this maximum permissible shear stress will be in what in newton per meter square so that is mean by tau max so before going further please everyone write down this relation of diameter of the rudder stock please everyone write down all this discussion from this screen now the next point that we are going to study is what what is the next point that we are going to study is what speed type rudder what is the next point that we are going to study next point that we are going to study is what speed type rudder so guys before going further give the heading speed type rudder so now what is meant by speed type rudder in this type of rudder there is only one support at the rudder head bearing in this case of the spade type rudder what we will have in case of the spade type rudder there is only one support at the rudder head bearing okay i will i will give you a just a basic constructional drawing don't worry in this case in this type of rudder or in spade type of rudder in spade type rudder in spade type rudder there is only there is only only support at what guys there is only support at the there is only support at the rudder head bearing there is only support at what guys everyone there is only support at the what rudder head bearing so in spade type rudder there is only support at the what guys there is only support at the what there is only support at the rudder head bearing so that is what our spade type rudder okay so before going further please everyone 
write down this one and i will explain you what is this meaning of this one but before that please everyone write down this discussion now what is mean by spade type what is mean by meaning of this word only support at the rudder head bearing what is the meaning of this one there is only support at the what rudder head bearing what is it mean guys try to understand the scenario here what i want to say just i'm going to draw one a drawing here so that you will get a detailed understanding of what your teacher want to say just try to understand the scenario here i'm going to draw one detailed drawing so that you will get a proper clear cut view of what your teacher want to say suppose here first of all i am drawing what just imagine that suppose what i am drawing here a support okay here what i am doing i am drawing what a support now this is what a a shaft or we will say a rudder stock so the the things that currently i am drawing this is what basically what guys this is what a, a rudder stock so rudder stock means what which supports the rudder just imagine that this is what our this is what our rudder stock then here the next thing i am going to draw i am going to draw the rudder so this is what our rudder so guys got it this is what our rudder stock rudder stock means what which is support the rudder here so guys observe simple discussion not that much difficult discussion here now the next thing here i am drawing this inclined line to show the view of the our rudder then another inclined line to show the another means to show the complete our rudder drawing so this is what our spade type rudder guys what this drawing denote this drawing denote what spade type rudder what this drawing denote this drawing denote spade type rudder so what we have written spade type rudder means what there is only support at the rudder head bearing so here suppose this is a rudder head bearing so this is what a rudder head so here only one support is there only one there is only here only one support at this end there is no other support here so suppose this is what our spade type rudder guys are huh? getting my point what is the meaning of spade type rudder so here we will have what only support at what support at what guys rudder head bearing so this is what our spade type rudder try to understand the scenario here now the next thing i am going to draw what axis of rotation what is the next thing i am going to draw i am going to draw what a uh, axis of rotation just imagine that one minute guys so here what i am going to do i am going to draw what so just imagine that this will be what our axis of rotation of the rudder this is what guys everyone this is what axis of rotation of the rudder and how we draw the axis bigger line then smaller line bigger line smaller line bigger line smaller line bigger line smaller line and in the same way this will be what our axis of rotation observe the things here carefully then we will have what here here just imagine that this will be what our center of effort so this will be what guys our center of effort through the same center of effort what is going to act through the center of effort what is what is going to act guys a normal force is going to act through the center of effort what is going to act normal force is going to act try to understand my point through center of effort what is going to act a normal force is going to act observe here carefully and to show that one what i am going to do i am going to draw so but for that but before that i am going to show the normal force we can't show on this drawing guys because which is perpendicular to this plane the plane of this one plane of the screen so we can't show the normal force here but before that i am drawing few dotted dotted lines we need that one 
here for our upcoming discussion. I'm making these two lines as what a dotted dotted one so this one this one this one also dotted dotted okay observe guys huh? so this distance distance between center of effort and axis of rotation guys this distance distance between what center of effort and axis of rotation we already studied what is the name that we have given this distance a name we already seen B distance between center of effort and axis of rotation the name that we have given to that distance is what we have given the name that is what a, a b now the next thing from distance between what guys rudder head bearing see this here we will have what rudder head bearing here we will have what rudder head bearing from that point we will draw one dotted dotted line just here imagine that what we are doing we are drawing one dotted dotted line observe here from the rudder head bearing so I am making this one as a dotted dotted and then this distance guys a distance between rudder head head bearing and center of effort we will give that name is what we will give that name we will say this distance is what a so b means what distance between center of effort and axis of rotation a means what distance between rudder head bearing and center of effort that is meant by a so now here we will have a two things first thing is what torque or twisting moment another name for the torque is what twisting moment guys don't think too much here because we are not going into that much detail if you want to that much detail we will study all these things in in much detailed way in mechanics guys what is meant by torque what is meant by twisting moment all these things so torque t we have seen relation of the torque already so same relation will be here so t will be equal to what torque will be equal to what fn normal force into b and unit of the torque will be in what newton meter what will be the unit of torque unit of torque will be in what newton meter so i'm making that relation in the box then the next thing here in this scenario we will have a bending moment also don't think too much about bending moment what is meant by bending moment we will see uh, we have already seen in while dealing with the sfd and bmd chapter shear force and bending moment chapter we will see we have seen what is meant by bending moment but still we have not seen in a much detailed way so don't think too much about bending moment here for now we are going to the point guys of whatever things we required for the exam so bending moment we denote by what capital m torque we denote by capital t so bending moment m will be equal to what guys bending moment m will be equal to what fn sorry bending moment m one minute guys bending moment m will be equal to what fn into what a fn means what normal force and what is the meaning of a a means what a distance between rudder head bearing and center of effort and as it is a moment that moment must be in what guys newton meter that moment must be in what guys that moment must be in what in newton meter so before going further guys we have already written this definition what is meant by spread type rudder spread type rudder means what there is only support at the rudder head bearing guys huh? so this is what our radial rudder head bearing this is only schematic drawing guys huh? don't think too much on this drawing just this is a schematic drawing a basic constructional drawing we can say and after this one we have already written if you are not written write down this one and then what you have to do guys start writing first of all draw this figure first of all draw this figure don't forget to draw this figure this figure is very very important this figure denote what this figure is what our what this figure is what our spade type rudder guys huh? this figure denote what our spade type rudder and after drawing this figure first of all draw the figure after drawing this figure write down these two relations of torque and bending moment relation guys huh? please everyone write down this discussion
now after these things guys try to understand the next point what what is the next point i want to say so after this relations after this all these points the next point is what here all these things we are studying in what split type rudder only okay all these things we are studying only in split type rudder so here we will have the next term in split type see guys always see main heading in the red pen subheading i am writing in the black pen guys so all this discussion that i am writing down is in what is under the split type rudder only so the next point is what equivalent torque guys so the next point is what equivalent torque and this equivalent torque we denote by what capital t suffix e te so this equivalent torque te what will be the relation of te guys this relation of te will be equal to what m plus under root of what m square plus what t square guys huh? so this is the relation of the what equivalent torque as it is a torque torque must be in what guys in newton meter torque must be in what newton meter so before going further please everyone write down this discussion now after this one guys after this equivalent torque relation how to get a diameter of rudder stock for a split type rudder guys diameter of rudder stock for what for split type rudder how to get that diameter see we have seen how to get a diameter of rudder stock guys already how to get a diameter of rudder stock we have already seen we are going to use the same relation just only a small change same relations we are going to use same relation to get a diameter of the rudder stock of split type rudder that we have seen the previous relation of how to get a diameter of rudder stock just we will do a small change there just a small change d will be equal to what 16 instead of t we will write down what guys te 16 te divided by pi tau max remaining things will be the same here in this relation raised to the power 1 by 3 okay getting my point instead of writing t in case of the split type rudder for the diameter of rudder stock we will, we have seen te and what is meant by t just now we have seen t means what equivalent torque that we have seen already so before going further what you have to do please everyone start writing down this discussion one minute guys okay no problem so please everyone start writing down this diameter of the rudder stock guys diameter of the rudder stock for split type rudder guys and one minute diameter must be in what meter so please everyone write down this discussion now after that the next relation that we are going to see angle of heel due to rudder force the next relation that we are going to see what angle of heel what is the next relation that we are going to see angle of heel angle of heel due to what guys due to rudder force angle of heel due to what rudder force try to understand my point so this relation tan theta will be equal to what guys tan theta will be equal to what f t 
what is mean by ft guys we have seen already ft means what tangential force and that tangential force is what fn into cos alpha guys we have not written one thing here guys we have not written one thing here come back to this previous discussion that where we have written normal force everyone where we have written normal force and write down here meaning of alpha is what guys what is the meaning of alpha guys here we have not written that meaning we need that meaning alpha means what guys our rudder angle what is the meaning of alpha guys here here we have not written that meaning we should add that meaning meaning of the alpha is what rudder angle and the meaning of alpha alpha means what guys here alpha stand for what rudder angle here please everyone add this one the, where we have written all these things alpha means what guys our rudder angle add all these things everyone now so what is the relation of what guys so first of all what is the relation of angle of hill due to rudder force angle of hill due to rudder force will be what ft ft stand for tangential force tangential force means already we have seen fn into cos alpha so fn means normal force so ft into t must be in suffix ft into what nl divided by what guys 1000 into displacement into g into what guys g okay i will explain you meaning of each and every term don't worry try to see the scenario here i am going to explain you meaning of the each and every term here so where meaning of the ft we will try to see the meaning of each and every term here so ft means what guys here ft stand for what tangential force you have to stand for what guys tangential force and that tangential force must be equal to what fn fn means normal force fn into what cos alpha in newton then nl nl guys this nl this term may be new for you don't think too much about this term nl means what distance what is mean by nl distance between distance between center of effort distance between what center of effort and center of lateral resistance distance between center of effort and center of lateral resistance don't think too much about this one guys huh? i will explain you all these things distance between center of effort and center of lateral resistance in meter then delta means what displacement of the vessel what is meant by displacement we have already studied in our basic chapter displacement must be in what ton then g small g g means what our acceleration due to gravity what is the meaning of small g guys small g means what acceleration due to gravity and this acceleration due to gravity must be equal to what 9.81 meter per second square then gm what is the meaning of gm guys can anyone tell me we have seen what is the meaning of g1 meta centric height what is the meaning of gm guys gm means what meta centric height and this meta centric height must be in what meta centric height must be in what guys meter so before going further don't think too much about this nl guys don't think too much about this nl while dealing with the numerical there i will explain you what is the meaning of nl here so don't think too much here for the nl so before that what you have to do before that what you have to do guys start writing down this discussion everyone start writing down this discussion
now we have seen angle of hill due to rotor force now the next thing we are going to see angle of hill due to centrifugal force that is due to turning so the next point give the next heading angle of hill give the next point angle of hill due to centrifugal force angle of hill due to centrifugal force that is due to who, who is responsible for the centrifugal force guys who is responsible for the centrifugal force turning is responsible for the centrifugal force so angle of hill due to centrifugal force that is due to turning so before going further everyone give the heading angle of hill due to centrifugal force that is due to turning guys everyone give this heading now here this angle of hill due to centrifugal force this relation will be equal to what this relation of the angle of hill due to centrifugal force tan theta will be equal to what v square into what guys lg divided by what v square into lg divided by what radius into g into what guys everyone gm v square into lg divided by what radius into g into what guys gm so that will be what our tan theta relation of the what tan theta tan theta will be equal to what v square into what lg divided by radius into g into what a gm and that tan theta okay it must be in degree so i will write down in degree here also guys you can write down this tan theta we will get in what oh or we can not say any unit for the tan theta because here we will get a value so for the theta we can say degree okay so angle of hill theta tan theta so here v means what speed sh ship speed where we will write down the meaning of each and every term where v means what ship speed and here ship speed not in knots guys huh? ship speed must be in what meter per second and i we studied already how to convert knots into meter per second then next lg guys everyone the next is what lg lg means what distance between center of lateral resistance lg means what guys everyone lg distance between lg means what distance between center of lateral resistance center of lateral resistance and what guys g stand for what center of gravity g stand for what center of gravity and that distance must be in what center of lateral resistance we denote by what l center of lateral resistance we denote by what l and center of gravity we denote by what capital g so distance between center of lateral resistance that is l and the center of gravity g in what guys meter so distance between center of lateral resistance l means what guys distance between center of lateral resistance and center of effort g guys don't think too much ah huh? all these things all these points here lg in the previous relation nl i am going to clear both the points nl and lg while dealing with the numerical after the theory we will see the next numerical guys there i am going to clear you all these points in meter then radius radius means what our radius of the turning so what is the meaning of this radius radius means what our radius of turning this radius must be in what meter guys this radius must be in what in meter and the next thing g g means what acceleration due to gravity we have already seen acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity you may have studied in your basic fundamental school in basic school in your school 
so acceleration due to gravity and its value will be equal to what guys acceleration due to gravity value will be equal to what 9.81 meter per second square then our gm what is the meaning of gm guys gm stand for what what is the meaning of gm gm stand for what meta centric height gm stand for what guys meta centric height and meta centric height must be in what in meter so we have seen all the things we have seen meaning of e yes we have seen meaning of lg then radius small g and capital gm guys so before going further everyone write down the give the next heading angle of hill due to centrifugal force and who is responsible for the centrifugal force turning is responsible don't think too much about centrifugal force if you want centrifugal force what is the meaning of centrifugal force ask me uh, i will send you one one video for the centrifugal force there you will get a detailed understanding of centrifugal force but for now don't worry about centrifugal force from naval point of view we will study in mechanics you will study in mechanics what is meant by centrifugal force in much detailed way there are lot of things about centrifugal force because whenever we have a rotational motion whenever we are anything rotate in a circle then move in a circle their centrifugal force is going to act so the centrifugal force will be responsible for the healing of the ship so before going further please everyone write down this discussion now after this guys after this one what we are going to do after this one what we are going to do guys try to see the scenario here we are going to write down the few note so these notes are very this note are very very important for you so the next note guys try to see the point here note number 1 note number 1 guys angle of hill due to centrifugal force try to understand this note guys angle of hill angle of hill due to what guys due to centrifugal force angle of hill due to centrifugal force is always is always opposite direction is always what guys always opposite direction of angle of hill is always opposite direction of angle of hill angle of angle of hill due to centrifugal force is always opposite direction of angle of hill due to what guys due to rudder force so angle of hill due to centrifugal force we have seen angle of hill due to rudder force is what this relation and angle of hill due to centrifugal force this is relation so angle of hill due to centrifugal force always opposite in direction of angle of hill due to rudder force suppose angle of hill due to centrifugal force is in suppose port side angle of hill due to suppose and healing due to centrifugal force is in port side then healing due to rudder force will be in what starboard side guys or vice versa we can say like that second point second note guys angle of hill due to so second note angle of hold due to centrifugal force guys the second note that is quite important angle of hill due to centrifugal force angle of hill due to what guys due to centrifugal force is always is always greater than 
it is always greater than angle of heel due to rotor force guys angle of heel due to what everyone angle of heel due to rotor force see the see the note guys are huh? try to understand the meaning of each and every term so whatever the angle of heel due to rotor due to centrifugal force i have not written here force guys so angle of heel due to centrifugal force angle of heel due to centrifugal force is always greater than the what angle of heel due to rudder force guys huh? angle of heel due to rudder force so before going further please everyone add this note in your notes now the last point of the theory is what guys now the last point of the theory is what angle of heel due to that is actual one actually we will have angle of heel will be what combined effect of centrifugal force and rudder force guys huh? so give the next heading angle of heel due to combined effect of what combined effect of centrifugal force combined effect of what guys centrifugal force centrifugal force is that what that is turning or don't need to write down i already explained you angle of angle of heel due to angle of heel due to combined effect of centrifugal force and what guys rudder force huh? so now just now one or two minutes before what we studied guys angle of heel due to centrifugal force is always greater angle of heel due to centrifugal force is was always greater than the angle of heel due to rudder force and the first note we have studied angle of heel due to centrifugal force is always opposite in direction of the what always opposite always opposite direction of what angle of heel due to rudder force suppose angle of heel due to centrifugal force is on port side then angle of heel due to rudder force will be not starboard side hitting a point try to understand the scenario so the net effect will be what here we are going to understand the net effect so the net effect will be the difference of these two angle of heel so what we can say tan theta for this case angle of heel due to centrifugal force is higher so that's why that term we will write down first and angle of heel due to centrifugal force is what lower that term we will subtract guys huh? angle of heel due to centrifugal force what we have seen tan theta is equal to what v square into lg divided by radius into g into gm so v square into lg we have seen what is the meaning of lg already guys so i am not going to write down once again so lg divided by what radius into small g into what guys gm so angle of heel due to this is what angle of heel due to centrifugal force just imagine that angle of heel due to centrifugal force is on port side then angle of heel due to centrifugal force will be in what starboard side so the net effect will be the what difference of that two and which term is higher here which term is higher angle of heel due to centrifugal force is higher so we will write down that one first and then second term minus what guys angle of heel due to what what will be the angle of heel due to what rudder force we have already seen ft ft means tangential force ft into nl divided by what guys 1000 into displacement into g into what guys gm so what we can say ft ft into what guys see the scenario here ft into what nl ft into what guys nl 
डिवाइडेड बाय वॉट थाउजेंड इंटू डिसमेंट इंटू जी इंटू जी एम गाइज सो गेटिंग माई पॉइंट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड सीनारी ओयर सो बिफोर गोइंग फॉर दैट सो सी सी दिनारी ओयर सो एज इट इज हायर एंगल ऑफ हिल ड्यू टू सेंट्रीफिकल फोर्स इज हायर सो दैट्स वाई वी आर राइटिंग फर्स्ट देन एंगल ऑफ हिल ड्यू टू रेडर फोर्स इज अ स्मॉलर सो वी आर राइटिंग एंड बोथ आर इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन सो वी शुड टेक द द नेट इफेक्ट दैट इज कंबाइंड इफेक्ट कंबाइंड इफेक्ट ऑफ दिस टू सेंट्रीफिकल फोर्स एंड रेडर फोर्स सो दैट कंबाइंड इफेक्ट मज बी डिफरेंस एंड वेच एवर हायर वैल्यू वी वी शुड टेक फर्स्ट एंड द लोअर वैल्यू will be the next and we should take as it is in opposite direction this is due to what centrifugal force this is due to rudder force so as they are in opposite direction so we must take a net effect will be the difference of this two angle of hill guys so getting my point so before going further please everyone write down this discussion of the angle of hill due to combined effect of centrifugal force and rudder force now this is all theory about what guys our rudder chapter guys huh? this is all theory about rudder chapter this chapter is really simple chapter don't think too much about this one just memorize this theory and you can easily deal with the numerical of this chapter